Yeah, I'd woken up to this massive injustice and I wasn't even an animal lover and yet still I felt compelled to not contribute to that violence anymore. I always believed the same thing. I never cared about animals. I never thought they were important. I saw them just as plants almost. You know, there's humans, there's animals. It took me a while to really connect because I'd never really been around animals much. Now I realize that humans are just another species of animal. What we share is so much greater than what we don't. We all have a heart, we all have a brain, families, communities. We eat, we breathe, we sleep, we don't want to die. When it comes to eating a plant-based diet, a vegan diet for health, I was always under the impression, being a personal trainer for seven years, that you could not be healthy as a vegetarian, let alone a vegan. I'd always believed that you needed meat for protein, you needed dairy for calcium, you needed eggs for omegas. And I was lucky enough to learn the actual truth, which is that not only do we not need animal products for our health, but we can be much healthier without them, live a longer life, reduce our chances of most diseases, and get more than enough protein from plants, as well as omegas, as well as calcium and things like that. Some of the strongest and most elite athletes on the planet are doing so on a plant-based diet. But I have more energy, I recover faster after workouts. I don't train anywhere near as much as I used to, but I find it so much easier to maintain a lean, healthy, strong body. When I cycled across Australia, the 5,000 kilometers, which is about 3,000 miles, I did that all on a plant-based diet. There's also this sort of idea that you need to eat meat to be manly, you know, and that's very much seen in the health and fitness realm, but actually there's nothing manly about paying somebody else to kill an animal for you. It's much better to stand up for the vulnerable, to speak up for the voiceless, to step in when you see bullying or something similar happening. Do something that the rest of people aren't doing. That takes courage. I'm just trying to increase the peace, to do it from a place of patience and understanding and compassion and respect and just try to you know, improve the way that animals are seen on this earth.